it took me quite a while to establish a process and an outline for the way that I do my devotions. So I would like to share that with you guys today in case any of you guys are striving to have a deeper relationship with the Lord. Maybe my process may contribute to your process, not necessarily that it will be like the exact same process, but if you like bits and pieces of it, you could use it to your advantage. So the first thing that I do is I write down the date. I think the date is super important because a lot of the times it can mark big events, it can mark seasons in your life, so I feel like it's very important to have a date, especially for documentation purposes. And then I go ahead and write down the title of the devotion for today. The devotion I'm reading right now is My Time with God Study by Joyce Mayer. Afterwards, I continue and read the devotion and I write down the things that capture my attention or um, lines that I find very relevant to my situation. I just literally write down notes. I feel like it's really important to record what your reaction is um, to a specific devotion because if you look back, it could be a reminder to you as well. Sometimes it's literally just one-liners like, don't waste your days feeling guilty. Or they're questions. Sometimes um, when I'm reading a devotion, it prompts me to ask a question. For example, in the prayer part of this devotion, it said, Father, I am sorry for all my sins, and I ask you to strengthen me in every area where I am weak. That's why I asked the question here, what are your weaker areas? And I wrote down some of the areas in my life where I tend to um, make mistakes more often. So that I could look at it and be like, okay, these are the ones that I have to keep track of. And as the devotional stated, realizing our mistake is the first step to repentance. First, you have to realize that you made a mistake. Then and only then can you say, Lord, I'm sorry for what I did. Because if you don't know what you did, how could you say sorry for it the back? In this specific Bible app, which is YouVersion's Holy Bible, the devotions come with a devotional and verses from the Bible that complement that devotion. So afterwards, I write down the verse that is given, which today is, There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ. That's Romans 8 verse 1. And then right under that verse, I write down how I received that verse, how um, it spoke to me. You're free if you surrender and repent don't wait any longer i think that's the most difficult part about admitting your mistake is really getting around to it because you might think that oh yeah 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 i'm sorry like i'll tell them i'm sorry in a bit in a bit or whatever but really we should not hold back from saying sorry we should not keep that in our system because in reality it's just gonna rot you in the inside you should take the first step so that you can get over that speed bump as fast as possible and continue your walk with the Lord. Our mistakes, our sins, they're bumps in the road. And once you get past them, God never remembers and He never gives records of wrongs. He's just going to be like, okay, you said sorry. And now to me, you are sinless. You are clean. You are um, pure. Literally, all we have to do is ask for forgiveness. Okay, and then afterwards, after I write down my notes and read and all that, I write down a short prayer. Sometimes it's a prayer to God saying, Lord, allow me to establish rhythm in my life that is attuned to your will and guidance. That's how I wrote the day. Um, but I mean, it's, it's a bit longer than that, but that's just an example. Other times when I feel like um, I'm in my own head and um, when there are times when I feel like I'm not even listening to my own self, I write down a, a letter to myself. So sometimes when I have so many questions, that I feel like are not being answered. And I write myself a letter. There you go, the answers appear for some reason. It's like, wow, Han, it's, it's the answers to your difficult questions were in you all along. You just had to ask God to use you. And after I write down my prayer or my letter, I then go on with gratitude. I feel like this is such a powerful exercise every single morning to recall, to remember, to remind yourself how grateful you should be, um, all of the things that you should be thankful for, all of your blessings, the littlest ones and the biggest ones, literally like, thank God that I can breathe. I'll read to you guys what I wrote down so that you, you can um, kind of grasp the fact that it doesn't have to be, wow, thank you for my new mansion. Like, wow, no, it doesn't have to be that. There's so many things to be thankful for. I wrote down Solana and her laugh. Thank you for a quick transition. Saying thank you in advance. You can also do that. 
if you're hoping and praying for something, thank God in advance. I thank God for my family, for Turon in the morning. I heard that we have Turon right now for breakfast and I love Turon. Thank you for early mornings. Thank you that I was able to wake up this morning. Thank you for pillows. Thank you for my platform, my YouTube channel. Thank you for water. I love drinking water in the morning. It's like, wow, so refreshing. Can you imagine if we didn't have water in this world? Can you imagine? And I thank you for mama's pajamas. <laughs> I love my mom's pajamas. I don't know why, but they, they make me sleep so well and they make me feel so comfy. Anyway, yes, that is the process of my devotions. After I sit down in this area and do my devotion, I go ahead and meditate. I use the Headspace app on my phone and depending on what it is I feel this morning, I'm going to meditate on that. I usually do two three, four, five minutes. It really depends on if you have a lot of time or if you feel like meditating. Sometimes I don't really feel like meditating, but even a few minutes of meditation can really change your day and allow you to be more mindful throughout the day. Okay, so I'm gonna open up my Headspace app. Today, we're gonna be doing a quick meditation on refresh. It says here, wash away any tension in the body with a classic visualization technique. Allow all of the stress and all of the sore muscles and tension in the body to go away for a bit. Start. In your own time, you can just gently open the eyes again. <sighs> there. Super duper simple. That was... My meditation for the day, three minutes could really determine the rest of your day. Well, three minutes and a few minutes for my devotions like completely changes my day. Today we did a visualization technique, which means that you basically visualize. Well, today it was a ray of sunshine that was filling up the body and relieving your body of tension and melting away any discomfort. Meditation usually has breathing techniques, so you basically just breathe in and out and you allow your mind to wander and sometimes you focus on a specific area of your body. One tip that helped me with my meditation was imagine your thoughts like bubbles and when you start drifting away and start thinking about something else and not your meditation, you just imagine you're popping the bubble and then you bring your attention back to the breathing. That's, that has super helped me because my mind really likes thinking about a lot of things, but when you visualize it in that sense, where it's so simple to just boop, okay, bye thought, boop, okay, bye thought, and then bring your attention back to whatever it is you're supposed to be bringing your attention to, then it makes it much easier to focus, honestly. I don't have a very long attention span, so that has super helped me with my meditation. I have been reading the book called Don't Sweat the Small Stuff recently on my Kindle and um, I've been learning a lot, a lot. So I just give myself 10 minutes to read. Chapter 96 Be open to what is. When we have preconceived ideas about the way life should be, they interfere with our opportunity to enjoy or learn from the present moment. This prevents us from honoring what we are going through which may be an opportunity for great awakening. I know that I should live in the present moment, but sometimes I just need more explanation, you know. Things that we consider to be truth already, when they're written down, when they're presented to us in a different way, in a new form, in a new sentence, it's just, it's like realizations every single day when I read books. Love, love this book so far. I've been learning so much. I think I've literally become a better person because of this book. Um, so many little bits and pieces to pick up and to be like, you know what, I'm gonna do that today. I'm gonna do that today. And little by little, the small stuff remains small stuff. I mean, that's the whole point of the book. We tend to make a big deal out of things that could be quickly resolved or things that could be quickly brushed off. When you remind yourself that you don't have to dwell on what's bad, instead you can focus on what's good or you can strive to be better, like then you'll waste less time. You're going to enjoy so much more. Happiness is just going to thrive within you and you're going to see less conflict in your life. I mean, conflict is inevitable, 
But a lot of the times, it is also self-inflicted conflict that ruin our mindsets because it happens internally. Love this book. I really recommend it if you are looking for a book to read. Don't Sweat the Small Stuff by Richard Carlson, PhD. Once we have done our devotions, meditation, and we have read, and then go on to brainstorm journaling. And I touched on this a bit in my last reset routine video, but I didn't really explain. And honestly, I didn't really have a process for it before. But now, I kind of have a process for it because of Nate. Thank you, Nate Ponzalan. If you guys want to check out his channel, you can check it out. He's also a very inspirational guy. And honestly, this like this journey of mine to becoming a better person and to really focusing on myself and my mind and being grateful and happy it's it's a journey that nate has been taking for a, a while so we super relate in that sense and we really help each other out so nate thank you so much for this suggestion but now i want to share it with you guys since it's a very good idea our minds are capable of way 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 way, way, way more than we give it credit for if we just allow our mind to speak if we quiet everything around us and allow our mind to speak, we can discover such great things that are usually just beneath the surface. All we need to do is scratch the surface a bit. So brainstorm journaling is super duper simple. You give yourself a time frame and then you just write. You just keep on writing for that time frame. Let's say five minutes. You're just going to keep on writing. No stopping. No stopping. You just allow your stream of consciousness to take, take up your notebook. And then you look back at it and you can find ideas, you can find things that you overlooked, you can see your overall mood, what your thoughts look like. I mean, it's, it's amazing. It's, 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 it's a great, great exercise. And so I will be doing that today. I just want to mention that I do brainstorm journaling after I intake information from my devotions, from my meditation, and from my reading. So now this writing of mine is an outlet for whatever it is that I learned and processed to go on paper. Thoughts written down, now I have some planning to do. Let's move on to my desk. Oh, I forgot to explain what we are doing. We are planning for the day. Planning for the day is key to effectivity. Basically, all you have to do is sit down, plan out your day, put the time, what you're going to do, and checklists, all those things. Do it in the morning, and then you can effectively execute anything that you want to do today. Priority-wise, if you forget about errands and whatnot, you can write it down and you don't have to worry throughout the day like, oh my God, am I missing something? Am I missing something? Everything is going to be here. My dad showed us a video of them building an underground plane in Japan and how they built it in three hours because it took them eight years to plan it. Planning will allow everything you do to be more, 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 more effective. Good morning! For you guys who don't know, this is Solana. She's my youngest sister. Um, as much as possible, I try to be with her in the mornings before she goes to school. So we're gonna be eating some breakfast. Are you excited to eat breakfast? Yes, I already know what I'm gonna eat. Turon yeah. and soup. That's a great choice. <laughs> mm. Sometimes in the morning also, if we have enough time, I'm gonna braid Salsa's hair. Oh, so you're gonna drink your vitamins now, right? Mm hmm. So you don't get sick? Mm hmm. Look at my happy face. Do you know that Ap is sick and Kuridon is sick? Mm hmm. But not Solana, because she drinks her vitamins. And they don't. And they don't. <laughs> okay, Solana. You wanna show them what your vitamins is? My vitamins is zinc. Wait, 30 plus chewables. Ascorbic <laughs> acidity. Acid. So what does it mean? You want to find out? Yeah. Science, Science lesson, lesson number, number one. one. <laughs> you gotta explain stuff to Solana. This is good. Good. You you you're learning even before going to school. It is an essential nutrient to repair tissues in the enzymatic production of certain neurotransmitters. It's required for the functioning of several enzymes and is important for the immune system. What does that mean? <laughs> okay, so basically what it does is it repairs the things in your body that need to be fixed. Like my lips? When your lips are like dry. Yeah. Yeah, it tries to help fix that. Like little things like that. Do you know what your immune system is? It's what helps your body fight the bad genes. 
Who reminds you to eat your vitamins? Mommy and Daddy and Matella and Kuya Donnie and Kuya Benj. Yeah, because before, when Solana was a baby, she would prepare my dad's vitamins in the morning. Right? Mm -hmm. And then he would eat everything in front of her. No. He would drink it. He would do this, and then I would do that, and then it would be that. Oh. Sometimes it goes all the way on the floor. But when, when I was a kid, I would eat it like candy. But you shouldn't do that. Do it, eh? Promise? <laughs> Promise. Promise? Not too much. <laughs> zinc. Do you know what zinc is? No. Wow, you read it properly though. High five. Zinc is necessary for a healthy immune system. It stimulates the activity of at least 100 enzymes. Correct what are enzymes? Enzymes are the ones that allow your body to do what it's doing. It speeds up the process. Okay. Imagine if it took you 10 days to eat your food. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want that. Nope. Nope. And it correctly synthesizes DNA, promotes health growth during childhood, and healing wounds. Okay, you're going to be late for school, Bobs. Are you ready to go? No. Why? <laughs> Come, I'll bring you upstairs. Okay. BRB guys. Are you going to um So Lana is done with school and we are going to be ending this video. We just have a quick message for you guys before we dismiss you. This video, we are actually having a giveaway together with Celine Plus Chewables. They are going to give 10 lucky winners a gift pack from them. All you have to do is share with them your true story. Share with us how Celine Plus Chewables empowers you to do the things that you love. Post your response to that question on Facebook, tag Celine, hashtag my true story, and hashtag Celine Chew Crew Hannah, and you guys will get a chance to get a gift back from them. So yes, all of the mechanics to this giveaway are going to be listed down below, and I hope that you guys um, participate, because of course we'd want to give you guys a gift back from Celine plus Chewables. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you to Solana for joining me. I hope you guys got something out of my morning routine, because that's something that I've been working on for quite a bit. Okay, yeah, that's the end of this video. Solana and I gotta go, so we'll see you in my next video. Bye! Bye to Australia! You wanna close it?